Okay guys, this is my review on the Wafing uh, 6228 tripod. It's also known as the Fancier tripod. Uh, so they go by two different names. And this one here uh, comes in at, in the UK, about £36. Now, I've used the standard cheap kind of tripods you get from Argos and uh, Jessup's where it's the metal frame and it's got the bracket in the middle and it's got three legs, that is it, it's sturdy. Uh, so this is what the class is, the entry level to basically beginners to semi-professional. Uh, so you get a nice carry case uh, that comes with it. Just take that out. And that is the tripod there. Uh, it's actually quite light. It's really good in the hands. Uh, each leg has a foam support, like such, uh, which is really, really good. Uh, and this comes in at what thing? Yep, thirty-six pounds. Uh, let's have a wee look at some of the other features. So as you can see, here are the legs. It's a three section leg piece and you've got the rubber stoppers rubber stoppers for the feet where you can unscrew to produce a spike which is there. Uh, if you want grip and you've got it there. So the three leg section where the leg comes out and it's just a, a locking mechanism uh, some you might have a twist mechanism, but this is locking mechanism. So we'll have a wee look at the top part here. And these are, this is the top part here. Uh, as you can see, you have the ball head. Uh, the last three or four tripods I've had have been the kind of video pan and tilt heads. So I wanted to go for a ball head. And I must admit, I mean, I've been using this now for about two months and I'm really happy with what I've got here. Uh, definitely a cracking tripod. Uh, so this is the head. So at the top you have, you've got a cut, uh, let's see here. At the top here you have a compass. You have a spirit level, uh, if you can see it there. And you also have a spirit level up here as well. Now the good thing about this tripod, let's see if we can set it up here for you. So this is the tripod uh, set up here and you have the ball attachment and you just basically you can attach your camera on here, move it about, lock it in place and it's sturdy, it's not going anywhere. To attach your camera to the tripod uh, you need to there's a wee catch under here, click that back, pull that back and then take your plate off. To put the plate back on, put it down, click and then flick the switch and that isn't going anywhere. I found this to be a really sturdy tripod. Uh, so about the legs, also on the legs, as you can see the middle, the middle, middle pole can actually move up so we'll as you can see there, let me see if we can see this. If you want to extend the legs out, you just this wee bit here. Let's see if we can. You pull them up like so, and then that gives you to be able to stick the legs right out. Uh, what I'll try and do is put some pictures on to show you. Uh, it's not very, not very clear on this one but that is the that's the ball head let's see if we can show you the ball head properly so that is it there
so you can actually have you know that? so you can actually have falling apart here so we'll just cut that and we'll 